hours continuous dancing on this stage. This is going to be the number one program that we have ever had at three in this mall. Do you think so? I, I think so. I think it's... So you need to do the thing that propose through those four days he's going to dance. It's for the sake of the suffering children. It's a good sake, Lord, and bless him. Be with him, God, and protect him. In the name of the Lord Jesus of Nazareth, we pray. Amen. Good luck, my man. Good luck. Come here. We're going to watch, all right? Can, a man trying to break a world record out at uh, the Dixie Outlet Mall. And Dave Pinton, stage side with him right now. Dave. Yes, indeed. His name is Suresh Shokim. He's a dancing machine. You've been dancing for 20 hours. He's trying to set a world record all to raise money for suffering children. 20 hours. How do you feel? Yeah, I'm okay because I'm going to break the world record 24 hours. So 24 gonna, hours, it's the yeah, record, right? The record, yeah. I'm going to have a new world record and keep on going for 100 hours. So almost five days of dancing. How are the feet? Ah, it's, it's so horrible. It's paining, but I can't go now. It's horrible, but it's but you're going to hang in yeah. there? Because it's all for a good cause. And uh, what he's allowed to do here now is only take one 15-minute break for eight hours. And I have to ask you, uh, Suresh, what do you eat in this? Uh, uh, full boiled potato. Boiled potato? And uh, eggs always. Eggs and yeah. lots of water. Water, lots of water. So you're getting close to the first eight hours because he started at 11 o'clock this morning. Guys, and we're getting tired just watching him, right? Yeah! Okay, we're going to keep cheering them on. Les, it's back to you as we broadcast live at the Dixie Outlet Mall. We admit it. We know it, right? Uh, maybe. <laughs> oh, 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 sorry. I happen to think I'm a pretty good... See, see, see? This is what do you want about. the, um, do you want the Elaine, you know, remember? Now, does the Elaine, anybody... that's right. The crazy leg? And let me just say that I'm not claiming to be any great shakes on the floor myself. Uh, well, listen, you know what? It doesn't matter as long as you're having fun. <laughs> On the time I'll go for a while. And Suresh will finish his dance a thon tomorrow at 3 o'clock. His next big project to run around the world in 182 days. But now it is all about the dance. And Suresh, bust a move. This is your time. Here we go. Live from Dixie Valley Mall, I'm Sharon Navarro. Now back to the newsroom. <laughs> Come give me a hug, get in the getting rough. You can find me in the club. Bottle full of bugs, with mommy, I got Come <laughs> on. 
Hey, he's not breaking anybody's record. It is the first record in the Guinness Book. They have laid down the rules and regulations, and Suresh is the first person to establish that. He's the pioneer of this record. Yes, Suresh. This is the 29th record. The fourth record broken in Canada. Suresh is a noble cause. Now, let us invite Alvi uh, on behalf of this Dixie Mall to present an award and say a few words. Here, yeah, Alvi comes. You are a multiple uh, Guinness World Record holder. You, you've done this, you've danced for 100 hours. You're going to walk around, run around the world in 182 days. Where do you come up with your ideas yeah, for I records? Bo I'm born in a poor family in Jaffna, at the center of the war in Sri Lanka. I'm Tamil. I see the suffering children when I was 10, and my heart started to do something to the world. I was thinking, why these people are suffering? And my, you know, I always uh, feel sadness. And I was thinking, how oh, somehow to come to this world uh, to a bigger, you know, famous man, or people has to come to you know, for, uh, then only they, they can listen to me, what I can say. So I found the Venus Book 1991, and I thought this is a good idea to bring more world records in all the pages. Uh, and one day people, they talk about me, yeah, this guy holding, uh, this, if they say Guinness, they say, oh, yes, yeah, where is George? Uh, then I can use my name to bring more money to, uh, to, to, to the kids. That's how G uh, one GTA man was helping tsunami victims and setting a new dance record. Suresh Joka made his way into the record book today by completing 100 hours of non-stop dancing. Today's big finish took place in Mississauga after eating just boiled noodles for more than four days. Suresh wanted his uh, two sleep and some food. I, I'm very hungry, I'm very hungry. Whatever people gave, I can eat, I think. <laughs> Do you have anything to eat now? If Suresh looks familiar to you, it's because he holds a number of world I, 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 marks, actually, including standing on one foot for 76 and, uh, hours I'm and riding on an escalator for seven days. I have so much of pain in my both legs, and uh, you know I couldn't eat anything. Believe it or not, all the funds from this dance-a-thon and from the sale of these souvenir T-shirts will all go towards tsunami relief. I am thinking uh, about always about the children. I have to save the children. I have that in my mind all the time. But of course, there's a little bit of pride at stake. Morella, he has done it. Shiresh Jokum has successfully set the world record for dancing 100 straight hours. I was there for the countdown as he bopped through his last 60 minutes. What is hurting right now? You must be hurting. Yeah, my legs are paining, but I'm very glad I'm breaking very, one of the very difficult records. He's been dancing non-stop now for 99 hours. One hour left to go to break a world record. Make that Shiresh Jokum's 29th world record. Of course, this outrageous feat does have good intentions. He's raising money for tsunami victims. I'm spreading the peace message to the world, and uh, I'm bringing the awareness uh, to the save the suffering children. I'm not surprised. I, I, I believe he can do it. Great, great job. I was here when he started on Wednesday. Uh, he's young. He's got a lot of energy and a lot, of, a lot behind it because he's got a purpose. So I think if you have a goal, and he's proving that you can do it. That's, that's really great. Shiresh's fundraising effort comes at a time when almost two months after the tsunami disaster, Canadians are suffering from donor fatigue. We've managed to raise awareness of this of international causes. Our challenge is to, to keep Canadians engaged, keep them involved, keep them donating. I'm very glad on our record. Very hungry. I'm very hungry. A lot of energy for a guy who hasn't slept in four days. Now, after eating only plain noodles for 100 hours, Shiresh told me he was looking forward to his first meal of curry and rice. As for his future plans, he's trying for lots more world records, including driving a car 800 kilometers in reverse.